Welcome to the Lifestyle Medicine Update. I'm Dr. James Machino. A human clinical study published in eBiomedicine in 2015 showed very encouraging anti-cancer properties for a natural agent known as artemisinin or Chinese wormwood. So the leaves of the plant known as Artemisia annua contain an anti-cancer nutrient known as artemisinin recommended by the World Health Organization as an effective treatment for uncomplicated cases of malaria. Experimental and animal studies have shown that artemisinin kills many types of human cancer cells in a similar manner as it destroys red blood cells in the human body that are infected with the malaria parasite. So essentially, experimental and animal studies show that artemisinin binds with iron within cancer cells generating massive amounts of free radicals that ultimately cause the cancer cells to commit suicide, or as we say, they undergo programmed cell death or apoptosis in more scientific language. But normal healthy cells have antioxidant defenses to protect themselves against free radicals, so only the cancer cells die, and the normal cells of the body are spared. So it all sounds really good, except that human clinical studies were lacking to see if it really works in real life situations. Now in 2015, the first human cancer study using artemisinin was published and it showed very promising results. So in this study, patients who were about to undergo surgery for diagnosed colorectal cancer were given an artemisinin supplement or a placebo pill to take each day for two weeks prior to the surgery. So the artemisinin group got 200 milligrams a day of that particular uh, herb. Now the tumor samples were analyzed after the surgery and the pathology report showed that those ingesting the artemisinin prior to surgery had more cancer cells that were committed, had committed suicide than those who ingested the placebo. As well, the tumor cells from those ingesting the artemisinin showed less metastatic potential or less metastatic markers. That means that those cells were showing less uh, indicators that they were about to metastasize and spread to other parts of the body. So this was a double-blind, placebo-controlled, randomized study involving 20 colorectal cancer patients, nine in the artemisinin group uh, and 11 in the placebo group. Now, although being a very small study, it's noteworthy that 42 months after the surgery, only one of the nine patients in the artemisinin group had a return of their cancer, whereas six patients out of the 11 patients, that's almost half of them in the placebo group, experienced a recurrence of their colorectal cancer within a 42-month period after the surgery. So I've included the reference for this study in the text below. As someone who follows the peer-reviewed published studies on nutritional factors in cancer, I think that using artemisinin supplementation as an adjunctive measure to support conventional cancer treatments is something that can be considered in many cancer cases. If this applies to you or someone you know, then I suggest you print or forward the research paper to the attending physician to, to solicit their potential support for this adjunctive measure. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.